السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ایم آصف میتھ کارنر ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ واٹ از مونو مارفیزم میپنگ واٹ از ایپی مارفیزم میپنگ اینڈ واٹ از ایسو مارفیزم میپنگ ان گروپ تھیوری لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ واٹ از مونو مارفیزم مونو مارفیزم از اے میپنگ بٹوین ٹو گروپس جی with operator dot and h with operator static between two groups a map a mapping phi from g to h is said to be monomorphism if there are two conditions the first condition is the phi is homomorphism homomorphism means in my previous lecture i have described very deeply that homomorphism means the mapping which preserve the operator if if g has the multiplicative prop operator and h has additive prop addition operator then it will pres preserve the operator on left side there will be multiplication and on right side will be there will be addition next phi is injective injective mean one to one every image has one pre image every pre image has only one image so one to one mapping uh, it's mean that what is one one to one let me say that we take a function y is equal to x square x square so it is not injective why it is not injective as we give the value to x minus one so minus 1 square it give us plus 1 y is equal to plus 1 x is equal to minus 1 and when we give the value to x 1 uh, then 1 square is equal to 1 so in both cases y is 1 but x is minus 1 and plus 1 there are two values which we give as a domain to function and give us only one that is plus 1 minus 1 whole square is equal to plus 1 plus 1 whole square is equal to plus 1 so range is plus 1 one element but the domain is is there are two animal uh, elements inputs are two and output is one that's mean this function is like that minus 1 and 1 and it map on single so it's not one to one it's on to that's why one to one is y is equal to for example x for every value of x there will be one value of y when we give x to 1 then y is equal to 1 or maybe 2x so 2x means y value 2 So when we give the value x two, so two twos are four. So the these function are injective. I hope you understand understood. So what is epimorphism? Epimorphism is a mapping between two groups. A G with operator dot, H with operator static, is a mapping. Phi from G to H is said to be epimorphism. just remember the names by their conditions monomorphism has two conditions the phi is homomorphism and injective and epimorphism has two conditions first is same homomorphism preserve the operator and second is surjective as i given the example of surjective that y is equal to x square so we give two inputs it give us one output these are like that i have described early minus 1 plus 1 it they both will map if y is equal to x square we have function and both will map on single element so this is surjective let's see the their functions injective and what is surjective the first function is injective it's mean that it is monomorphism it is mono and it is epi 
this is epimorphism this is monomorphism so because it is one to one the two conditions are hold one to one one to one for every image it has only one pre image and domain is not equal to and range is not equal to co domain some elements are remaining it means that it is not bijective but only injective that is one to one so this is here we see that two inputs give us one output this thing give us told us that it is not injective it is surjective function mean epimorphism let's see next very important in group theory isomorphism isomorphism is mapping between two groups g with operator dot and h with operator steric these are two groups a mapping phi is defined from g to h is said to be isomorphism is said to be isomorphism it has three conditions one is same like epi and monomorphism the phi is homomorphism homomorphism mean it will preserve the operator so second condition is injective it should be one to one and third is surjective it it also use the complete domain a co domain in range so when any function is injective both injective and surjective that has also named that bijective so if we want to take only two conditions then it's also okay that isomorphism is a mapping if phi is homomorphism and phi is bijective so the isomorphism between two groups is denoted by this image equivalent or isomorphic it is called isomorphic so isomorphism between g and h is denoted by g is isomorphic to h g is isomorphic to h so let's have an example related to isomorphism we have an example that we have integers positive integers a mapping between positive integers and positive even integers positive positive integers and positive even numbers positive integers are 0 1 2 3 and positive even numbers are 2 4 6 up to so on so let's check the mapping then the mapping from z to e is denoted by phi of n is equal to 2n when we put 1 it is this type of function y is equal to 2x when we give the value 1 x it give us 2 when we give the value to x 2 it give us 4 so this is 2n means that 2 4 6 8 up to so on let's we have let we have two numbers n1 and n2 those belong to z in z integers the positive integers it, they may be 1 2 3 4 up to so on so phi of n1 plus n2 will be equal to as we define here that phi of n is equal to 2n so n will be there by n plus 1 and n1 plus and 2 will be there but here 2 is should also be here so 2 into n1 plus n2 is equal to when we multiply 2 inside the brackets 2n1 plus 2n2 so 2n means phi of n so 2n1 means phi of n1 and 2n2 here that if phi of n is equal to 2n it's mean that If two and two is equal to phi of n two, so here it preserves the order as well the uh, order of operator. So it is isomorphism. Now prove that phi is injective, injective and surjective because we have read three conditions. 
for isomorphism that it should be homomorphism it should be injective and it also should be surjective so homomorphism we have proved now we are going to prove that it is injective injective mean 1 to 1 injective mean phi of 1 should be equal to phi of n 2 phi of n 1 means as we define the function phi n is equal to 2 n so phi of n 1 means 2 n 1 and phi of n 2 means 2 n 2 here this 2 will come here by changing its sign so 2 n 1 minus 2 n 2 is equal to 0 here we see that it is the product of 2 into n1 minus n2 so we know that 2 cannot be equal to 0 2 cannot be equal to 0 it means that n1 minus n2 will be equal to 0 so minus n1 will when we take on the right side of equal equal sign then it it become positive so n1 is equal to n2 this thing told us that every single element will map with the single element of single element of uh, z will map on sing, with the single element of uh, even numbers positive even numbers so it is proved that phi is injective also phi is surjective why surjective because we have taken an infinite set that z is equal to 0 1 2 up to so on and e is 2 4 6 up to so on so 0 map with 2 for example uh, here we see that 1 map with 2 2 map with 4 4 map with uh, 3 map with 6 4 map with 8 so every element map with every element of e that's why it is also surjective uh, no element will remain so there exists pre image of n belong to z such that phi of n is equal to 2n hence phi is isomorphism because three conditions hold uh, uh, homomorphism hold injective hold surjective hold that is three condition hold that this mapping is called isomorphism let's see an image what type of its mapping is a very beautiful image mean, to understand the isomorphism the isomorphic mapping isomorphism this is a small box and this is a big box we can see very easily that the mapping is one to one every edge of capital box map is small edge of small a box one to one and you can see easily it is one to one and they are remain box after mapping so it is homomorphism and there is no single edge remains after mapping everything is used small box and the capital box every edge is used every side is used in mapping that's why it is also called surjective i hope you understood if you like my lectures please share my videos thank you so much